here, which basically allows a, a police vehicle in behind to, to bump the back end to spin a car. Now, I'm not sure if that officer is going to try actually to do that or just to stay with this vehicle. This uh, vehicle is going, when we first picked it up, this is about where we picked it up, maybe a little bit back, and it's heading. Now the Albion Ferry would be on that truck's left-hand side. Is that right, Caitlin? Yes, that's exactly where the Albion Ferry is on the truck's left-hand side, and the Albion Sports Complex would be on the right-hand side. So we're now heading back west, uh, closer towards the Haney Bypass on now, the Loki Highway. And this is really the first time that we've seen these police vehicles up uh, up beside the, the truck. We've seen them be in, in oh. trailing in behind, but it looks like the, the truck itself is trying to prevent the police officers from moving up beside it, although it's having so much trouble driving right uh, now. Oh, no, it's just hit a car. It just hit a parked vehicle, a parked police vehicle on the side of the road there. Wow. This is a dangerous situation, obviously. I hope no one... They may have been trying to employ a spike belt or something across the road, and that's... Hopefully there was no police officer in that vehicle. We'll get an update on that. But this truck continues to roll on Low Heat Highway, uh, heading towards the... near the Albion Ferry. A very busy area in the morning, so there's lots of traffic there. We saw a couple of moments ago... Sorry, I'm having bus. Some difficulty with the camera here. That's okay. That's okay, Caitlin. We can still see it. Now, it's coming uh, up to that busy intersection again here on the Low yes, Heat, is it? The, uh, yeah, the Kanaka Creek or the, uh, the Haney Bypass and the Low Heat Highway, a very, very busy intersection uh, at this time in the morning, at any time of day even. Uh, Caitlin, give us an idea about time-wise. Uh, you picked this up, uh, well, it were about 10 minutes ago or so? Uh, no, actually, probably now going on to 20 to 25 minutes ago. We picked up on this because we've been following it since before 7 o'clock this morning. Now, obviously, uh, the police behind are in, in contact with their with deciding on what they want to do and where they want to go. But as we mentioned, there was uh, a school bus a couple of moments ago. It was trailing right behind. Luckily, it didn't catch up to the school uh, bus. But here's that intersection. Oh, this is just a little bit east of that of the Haney Bypass, actually. So it's, that's about the Albion Sports Complex intersection there. And oh. Oh my goodness! It almost clipped that car. Oh, there's another police vehicle right there. Oh, okay. I'm gathering that the police are ahead trying to make sure that people clear out of the way for this vehicle yeah. that's coming because as you can imagine with increased speeds this becomes an incredible weapon this uh, semi truck that's uh, trailing on the low heat highway right now it's already hit one police cruiser that we could see that was at the side of the road and it's uh, clipped some uh, other vehicles on the way by but uh, no serious head-on collisions or anything like that but it looks like the driver continues to have uh, some sort of difficulty in whether the tires have been popped with a spike belt or whether there's some uh, damage to the tires but as you can see dangerously close to the traffic on the other side of the road yes so caitlin you're uh, you've been following this live in global one for us uh, bring our viewers um, up to date here if you're just joining us uh, the police are chasing this uh, truck they've been chasing it for at least 20 minutes uh, through well back and forth really on the same stretch of road road there yes. in maple ridge basically it's uh, basically been centered around this intersection right here which is the east end of or just coming up upon the east end of the haney bypass and the low heat highway and all the way through to almost to silverdale is as as far east as it is stretched but it's been going back east and westbound a number of times we have got a little bit further um, in both directions but it's mainly focused on the Albion area of the low heat highway east and westbound if you're just leaving the house please avoid this entire area because both directions of traffic are being affected now that's the intersection of the Haney bypass and the low heat highway uh, obviously traffic not going through that intersection and hopefully being warned to not to approach the intersection this vehicle heading up the uh, hill to up a little bit further west along the low heat highway now caitlin we're also getting into a situation as you can see now there's houses on both sides we're moving now from uh, that albion ferry area which is basically an industrial area there's some sports complexes and things like that we're now going into an actual residential area where there's houses and schools and, and high school just a little bit further west on the road here we do have a high school as well it looks as though the uh, truck is coming to a stop now yeah, maybe having some difficulty getting up. This is a quite a large uh, hill. And we don't know, obviously, we saw it would, there appear to be maybe some damage to the back tire. It's a little tough to get in close on it, obviously, from where a helicopter is. But as you mentioned, that's a, a pretty steep incline as you head up uh, head up that road. And, you know, if yeah, it's, it's gonna... approaching 216th, I believe, uh, is uh, just a little bit further west along here on the low heat highway that the uh, vehicle's approaching. But it is, does appear to be slowing down. In fact, the driver's stopping. We'll see what happens now. It might be 
Now, again, Caitlin, we have no idea if this is a stolen vehicle or why the police pursuit started. No, we have no idea. We, we picked up on it uh, as the police were already following. He's now reversing onto the oncoming lanes of traffic. Oh, my goodness. He's going over the... He's coming back down that hill now, and he's obviously over top of the median. Looks like he's maybe lost Where are those control? police cars? Um, They're just I, right behind. We'll stay on the truck for sure, Caitlin. Stay on the truck. Oh, he's now on the sidewalk a little bit. Now, I wonder if he's going to try to make a run. Can you swing those. back a bit? I know it's tough because you're in a helicopter, but you're trying to move back. But uh, we don't see those police cars yet. I'm sure they're within close proximity because they were literally right behind, right behind the vehicle. Yeah, there he is. He's making a run for it. The, the oh my gosh. Oh, he's just been hit by. Uh, oh. The police are on scene now. There you go. They've taken him down for sure. Well, the good news is that this is now over. And